Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Hellenica, where I let, let the last one run a little bit longer. So now we're going to do some healing. And... Yeah, okay, defend. And... Ooh. Can't quite hit you. There we go. Can delay you at least. Should have probably defended. Oh well. Yep. Got you. That thing in the back is going to backstab us more. Ow. Ow. Let's see if we can get rid of this one that's following us. I apparently can. Okay, cool. And the roar. Stab the barrel of Parasidious. Stab the barrel in rage for Nyx's ignominious end that I let happen to her. Just the archer now. Ow. Defend. It won't mean much. Oh, no, 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 no. You can heal. You can go up here. You can go here and heal. It won't mean much. You'll probably still die, but better than nothing. I hate this map. It's not the worst map out there, but it's really annoying. Okay, cool. The Presidious regenerates. Are you coming down to meet me? Ow! Okay, over you go. Wait, wait. Does that lock Brasidus down there? Yes, it would. Uh, so, no. Okay, Brasidus. There you go. Please, right there. Collision zero. Got that archer all the way down there. Yay. Not quite to the exit. Okay. I wish... She got some uh, magic, but I guess it kind of makes sense that she wanted. Her magic is changing into a bear. 
And they're gonna jump up to follow us. The two of them that are left. And that should do it. Yes, I know there's two left, but we've got everything done. We are exited. We're dragging Skillax Nix out of here. Escape the Labyrinth in 12 turns. 12 turns. Wow. They put the fires there to confuse you. The sun praise Apollo. There's no time to dawdle. It's still a day's journey to Thebes. That's a different exit. Wait, something's wrong. I haven't caught the shadow's eyes since we entered the city. Eyes? Where? Uh, she means her colleagues. Okay, did we end up going to the same route we did before? Nix, thank Hephaestus. I know they said they couldn't find your body. So many were missing and the bodies were badly charred. Charred bodies. Sir, what happened? You weren't there. My orders were to hunt down the adventurers the Persians were tracking. That's us? Hello. Please, what happened? We were wrong, Nix. The Persians never cared about the wandering Arctos. They wanted us. The base, gone. The Persians overwhelmed it. Survivors say they came through the walls. No, that's not possible. Go to the charred remains and ask the ghost if I'm lying. But how? No shadow would betray our location and few others know we exist. We're not dealing with some ravenous tyrant, Nix. Something bigger is going on. The Pretender King may have the powers of a Deva, but I don't imagine his force is invincible. Respect their might if you must, but don't be afraid. I promise you they can die. What are you doing here, Persian? He's our ally. He is our ally. Your ally? His countrymen have just slaughtered my people. He's probably playing friend until he can get that blade of his on our necks. Take that back! Perhaps, I don't think. That barbarian has spilled more Persian blood than you have. He's my brother in battle, not some cowardly assassin. And he is the last of Magians. A Magian? I thought the last one died in Hyperborea. I may have come close to death, but the fire still burns in my veins. And thank you, Brass. I'm glad to be your brother. Maybe Sparta can adopt you. That won't be necessary. I've heard that before. Let's see. Irina was supposed to meet me here. I hope her train hasn't been wasn't held up by the tremor. It didn't seem that bad. She didn't survive this time. Rina, where are you? Rina, where are you? Oh, that's sad. Did you feel that tremor earlier? It knocked my clock off the wall. Do you think the gods are angry? My friend in Attica keeps warning me that Poseidon is insulted by the railroad. Your friend is crazy. If the bull at the sea had something against our city, believe me, you'd know it. Remember what happened to Korn? That's true. That wasn't an earthquake. It's actually the shadows tested some secret weapon. I think they're, uh, yeah, targeting makes it up. Oh, this again. Okay, we've heard this before. Wooden steam, the Omanic Mechani. Okay. Let's talk to him. What will you do now? We need to learn more about how the Persians did this and defang with them before they could strike again. I might even take the pleasure of attending to, to them first. You have all, you always told me passion was our greatest enemy. Not now, Nix. So, uh, remember what happened to her love Titus when... Don't you dare use his memory like this. She was just trying to help. If you want to help, we need information. Our spy network is fractured, but the citizens of Thebes are far traveled to loose lip. See if you can learn anything from them. You want us to gather rumors? Even rumors can reveal the shape of the truth. We have stumbled upon a path we've already taken. Okay, let's go through all these, we might be able to... Okay, let's go through all these, because these are... I wish we had a chance to go looking for them. Don't worry too much. Okay, we have heard all these before. Found his... Okay. Apparently he was so intent on collecting the best mercenaries that... After all, I guess all of Persia remembers how soundly our hoplites beat the last time we fought. You? But, yeah, but charging the heart of Persia. Well, now you just want to know about that. 
Masked hero. Harry King won't take that. Let's get the inside. I'm in here. Not to get the inside. Impossible. No, it's true. Or at least let's do more breath. Uh, the lifelike uh, living machine. It's hardly similar. Pythagoreans. Not, not real. Mm. This is the Persian fleet. Okay, we are going to be merging these timelines afterwards. Well, the Barbarian King was allying himself with the pirates. Why would a seek battle with them? I don't think he's seeking battle with just a closer port. Just invasion. Okay. That's still going on. Don't worry, when we merge the timelines, things will go fine. Okay, let's hope we get an extra couple of options here, because I don't want to go exactly the same. More sailing? New path unlocked. Oh, bloody, we have stumbled upon the same path. Okay, so... We'll go back to here. And revisit it. A new leaf springs forth from the stock of time. Turn over this leaf and get the present. Embark on an undiscovered path. Uh, Gaia, I'm just doing the same thing I did last time, if you could please do the timey-wimey thing again and bring me back to Crete. Thank you. We talk to him, we go into the labyrinth, and everything's over. So let's look at the crates. Wow, that's a lot of heavily armed guys looking after those crates. You think they're guarding something important? Likely so. That's a Persian ship. And how unusual the captains paint the men in iron bars. Ah, see? Spartans aren't the only ones who deal in iron bars. No. These show Spartans are the only ones. The brass heads don't seem to mind hauling metal bars around. So the men are Spartan. Or they're going to Sparta. Oh, you think it's weapons for the rebels? You think it's weapons for the rebels? From the east, who would supply them? Aren't as their seas? Let's hope not. But we should keep it in mind. Can we still look at that? No, there's the labyrinth. Talk to him when you go to the place we did before. Right there. Not gonna do that. Locals. Stay close, girls. I'll do my best to protect you from the scum of this port, but calm down, brass. Not all the pirates will try to kill us. These smugglers of Crete aren't the curious type for cities. Keep your head down and they'll be happy to ignore you. Hello there. What can you tell us about Crete? you got a pretty mouth. Okay, well thanks anyway. Can you tell us about the pirates and their demons here? You better watch who you're asking questions to, girly. This is no place for nosy folks. Fine, what happened? The labyrinth, that's what. What's so scary about the labyrinth? Wasn't the Minotaur killed like a thousand years ago? That may be, but the victims thrown in still scream in agony. Do you know anything about shipments from the east? That's Pinnacus' business, girly. If you're smart, you'll find another tree to bark up before you get th yourself thrown into a labyrinth. Actually, this is another tree of the stock of time, as I'm given to understand. What? It's Ish. You know of him? Let's just say he would be less than thrilled to see us again. Or he might be really happy because then he could try to kill and torture us. That. I appall these people are unfriendly. This isn't the place to make new friends, then, though. Ooh, cloaked figure. Perhaps we're asking the wrong people. The woman in robes over there. What? I thought that was a man! She's a heretic. You see the living machine she carries? Here I thought the Spartans were the Bloodites. There's a difference between assembling an automaton and trying to give it a soul. 
machines with souls? Don't be silly, Billy. You can build all kinds of intricate mechanical devices, but they're not alive. I'm sure that guy's mechanic you know, mechanical bird is a wonder of engineering, but he didn't give it a soul. What about the prophecy that the gods will fall, fall in the coming apocalypse? Is that silly too? Uh, let's take things one apocalypse at a time. Right now we need to learn that Alcibiades is doing here and who had Socrates killed. Speaking of which, apocalypse is the Greek for revelation, so they would not use that word for... Yep, but that's for us. And seeing as smugglers are willing to unwilling to speak, we should talk, at least talk to this man or woman and maybe find out something else. <laughs> Fine, but I don't want I want nothing to do with this living machine. Weren't you the one that was thinking that they were that was myth and nonsense? Jeez, Diona, you act like it's a torture device. It would be if you were the soul bound to such a machine. There's just no pleasing her. You there, with the magical bird. Mechanical bird. Uh, Diona, maybe you should let me handle this. You seem a little tense. I'm not fine. Just don't get distracted by the bird. Ah, uh, hi. Um, I'm Nafel. That's a great-looking bird you've got there. Anyway, we were hoping you could give us some information about what's going on here. Most of the pirates aren't too talkative, and I didn't think you would ask for my help. What would the scowls of the girl bear have given you? The Pythagorean Order has an ill reputation, but you have not trespassed against Artemis and we need your help. I can see you're not pirates, but why are you here? If you track the wrong sort of attention, you might end up getting thrown in the labyrinth. For the third time. Third time? We only- there was only the one- when, when did we get thrown into the labyrinth? No, everyone has been saying that. Very well. What do you want to know? Do you know what the Athenian aristocrat Alcibiades is doing in these parts? Yes, it's really important that we find out. There are many threads that may have led to but all are part of the same plot. Why does everyone have to speak so? You sound a little bit like a Cryptically? No, not tombs! Why, Artemis, we can teach the Brasshead to speak later! Right now, we need to worry about saving Greece. Now, if you would please elaborate. The ancient prophecies of Pythagoras foretold that there would become a force great enough to threaten Greece. Yes, and also the blasphemous claim that the gods will die. Not exactly. The prophecy states that there will be a foe the dog the gods cannot defeat. Not by themselves, anyway. This pattern begins with the Persian king Artaxerxes. He's un the unbalanced variable which threatens the harmony of Greece. So what makes him special? The Persian king isn't what drives this equation, he's just the odd, most obvious consequence. An avatar or a pawn, something much more dangerous. Still, it has endowed him with godlike powers. Oh, let's talk to you more, because we can. Even if that's true, why doesn't he conquer, conquer Greece directly? Why bother with all the foolishness of trying to supply rebels or bandits? When you approach a problem, it's important to consider what you already know. Oxyzexy's grandfather once tried to. And he was defeated. Sparta led all of Greece in a unified struggle against him. Yes, about that. Now tell me, do those same variables exist today? Sparta still stands. I mean, there's the matter of the civil war, but I'm sure King Iglesias will be victorious, right? Spartans may have the technical sense of a technical sense of a donkey, but they're brave and tenacious lot. No country you want to meet you want to meet you in battle. I'm honored that. But with the Spartan Civil War ravaging all of Peloponnese, there may not be many of you left to oppose Artaxerxes. The tyrant, King of Persia. Just any amongst his brothers of Spartan is never outnumbered. That's great, but 3,000 of you would be a lot more help than the third. Well, let's do something about it. We know Artaxerxes is supplying the Spartan rebels, so let's put a stop to it. Why? Well, I bet the Athenian Navy could. The chaos going on in Athens, that's not a coincidence. Is it? Chances are of that are vanishing big small. There's another component to the equation. You may have heard of the pirate captain Pythicus. Oh yeah, he's a real charmer. He's been heading the delivery to the Spartan rebels, but his connections to Artaxerxes go deeper than that. He's recently ferried the Persian general Sisyphus through these waters. The pretender king's mad dog. What? Why would he come here? 
Why don't you recognize the name Sisyphus? It seems the Persian general needed to meet with someone. Someone who considered himself too good to communicate by messenger and with enough wealth to sail out to meet Sisyphus in the secret. Alcibiades, that treasonous scum. So Alcibiades offered a pelt to Theseus. That was probably just a trick too. One that was easily seen through. I'm glad Iglesias told him off. Of course, the Spartans would fall prey to these serpents in their forked tongues. But what would Alcibiades have to gain from working with Artaxerxes? Don't forget his brother, Clay. Hades. It was Clay who took control of Athens after Socrates' assassination. Akamana. Can the Alcibiades be really be so short-sighted? Evil spirit of the Magian religion. He's associated with evil thinking, sensual desire, and trickery. I would not I would expect nothing less from those pampered nobles. In Sparta, we your country is just as corrupted, Brasshead. It seems that everywhere the servants of the pretender king have been kindling fires for his for his invasion. I'm doing the wrong voice. This must be the threat Artemis warned me about. If we're to stop Artaxerxes' plans, we need to investigate one of the one of his threats. What about Pitkiss? Details of Pitkiss' current operation are still unclear to me. He's usually been unusually secretive, even though he seems to have hired half the group. And the pirates aren't curious what where they're going. Around Pinnacus, a lack of curiosity is almost a survival skill. If he's hiring so many, perhaps he's looking for a few additional hands. That's a good idea if we can sneak our way into the expedition, maybe we can foil whatever nefarious plans he's got. Maybe that'll buy Chris enough time to prepare for Artaxerxes' invasion. Let's go talk to her. We've heard Pinnacus was meeting with bandits too. You know what's going on with that? I've heard little about that thread, but I might hypothesize how easily bought thugs might fit into this pattern. No doubt having more elements sowing chaos is a bit of Artaxerxes' plan. How do you know all this? It's not one of your math. It's not one of your math prophecies. Not in your math prophecies, is it? Ha! If only the prophecies were so specific. No, the symbols and formula which foretold the coming threat are more like hints than instructions. They, lead, they tell us where to look and what to try. So that's why you've got spies in there. Make us sound like the shadows. Our goals are narrower than that. We don't care which king reigns in Macedon or which mogul runs the railroad. We're just focused on stopping an apocalypse. Nothing more, nothing less. So is that what you're doing here, looking for patterns, spying on the movements of Artaxerxes and his likeness? I was also recovering an artifact from Egypt, which may be critical to our success. Oh, what is it? Some kind of secret weapon to use against Artaxerxes? Not by itself. It's an ancient copy of the Book of the Dead, crowded with more superstition and ritual than actual knowledge, but we are so close. Maybe with this last piece, we can finally just... It's important I return to the order as soon as possible. You're doing it, aren't you? You're trying to build machines with souls. Pythagorean scriptures say the foe we will be faced will be beyond both gods and the humans they began. But perhaps man can build something new, something greater than ourselves. Do you people really believe you can do that? We believe we don't have any other option. Okay. Do we have an option? We have... This one. No, we have. No. We haven't. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Diana, I know pirates aren't the smartest, but don't you think Pinnacus will recognize us? That's why neither of us will do the talk. Um, yes, sir, but I think that would be better served as she means me, Vasidius. Oh, thanks, Zeus. That makes more sense. A pirate would naturally trust a barbarian like you over an honorable Spartan. Okay. Excuse me, Pitticus, sky on a mint to lean, but I have some come seeking employment. Who are you and what do you want? I have some debts to repay, and I was told you were a man who could help me. Heh, <laughs> you've got the look of a war, and even if you like, talk like a courtesan. But I've had a bad record with recent hires on my past mission, so I'm not taking any. Faces. Hades take spies. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I know I would hunt them if they were good. 
not quite the mercenary, but I'm not taking you. Try to stay alive while I'm gone and maybe I can fight against you. The bell. Well? Sounds like Pitticus isn't interested in taking down the crew. What was the plan and the choice? Yes, a fight! Challenge the pirate leader in this, the heart of his island. Not every problem saw, calls for the spot and solution. They hardly have any guards by the boats. It would be simple matters to keep on board. Yeah, but maybe there are no guards because everyone's too scared to stow away on their ships? Maybe we could talk to him and get thrown in the labyrinth. Okay, um, all of these options lead to a way we've done before, so we're going to have to go even further back. Let's go back on one we've already done. That was on this thread. What was this? Uh, Searcy's location. Uh, that's... We'll look for this inventor of yours. Let's do this one. A new leaf springs forth from the stock of time. Turn over this leaf, we'll get the present and embark on this undiscovered path. But what about the rebels that are probably hunting on the Anaxagoras? If we're lucky, they don't even know what Anaxagoras is yet. And if they already found him, this might end up being a rescue mission. Okay, I just, I hope he's alright. Okay, that is an auto Connecticut. Oh, by Apollo, look at this wreckage. I guess now we know what happened to Spartans' auto Connecticuts. But how? Auto Connecticuts are mighty war machines, shrugging off spears and arrows as if they were twigs. Well, the ground is charged. Maybe they set them on fire, but bronze doesn't burn. There's something unnatural about this battlefield. Look, I think that auto Connecticut is almost intact. Hmm. A few support trains have been melted together, but I could bypass it. Oh, look, rebels. We have... What have we got here? More Spartan scouts coming to survey the fate of their lost division. Like lambs to our slaughter. You've caught a wolf this time, you rebel scum. And a bear? Right, Diona? You'll die just as easily as the rest. There'll be no mercy for you cog monkeys. Men, attack! Diona, I almost had this out of Connecticut working. Come on, gear's turn. Whoa! Woo! It's working! Praises to Apollo and Nike. I've always wanted to drive one of these beauties. Here we go! Okay. We have skills. I am going to save that skill for when Skylex is back in our party. Okay. It's just these two? Strike, steamroll. Here we go. This ought to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to start using the strike power if I want to deal more damage. Enemy turn! Ow. Ow. The bear has more health than the auto -kinetic. Oh, there's more. Okay. Um, strike. Well, nice. There we go. Have to do that six times. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Ow. Sure. And Residius. Go. I forgot to turn on the tribute to Ares. Oh well. Oh, you got killed by that. Nice. shouldn't be doing this. Ow. Ow. They're gonna bring down... No, no, those are stunned. Please go to your... Oh, good. Okay, because that thing needs healing badly. the autokineticin breaks. Does she go unconscious or does she come out? They all get turns now, don't they? I didn't kill anybody. They're gonna tear apart the autokineticin. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Yep. Okay. Ow. Okay. I think Presidious is going to be the last one standing. Oh! Ow. Ow. Okay, yep. Okay. Fine. Can I do this? What would happen? You know what? Let me see. Twelve, twenty-one, thirty-seven, and twelve. Let's do the. Okay, he's not dead, but he's attack is down. I didn't have to do that. Okay. Cool. Yep. Oh, did you get close enough? You did get close enough. Ow. Ow. Okay.
Good. Not enough of you to kill me in one turn. You can whittle me down. Okay. Nice. Ow. Ow. Seventeen and twenty seven. See if this works. Maxwell stands alone. Ow. Okay. Fifteen, seventeen. What happens if I punch you? That's not enough. What happens if I stab you? From a pie. Enough. I'm afraid it has become a war of attrition which you cannot possibly win. My allies may have fallen, but you stand before a true spot. Not a false betrayer of his people like you are. Here we go. Got you. It was a little bit close, and my timer went off some time ago here. 90 bounce damage in one turn. So I am going to go to a new video. See you in a little bit.